Um, so apparently if you paint your face white before applying your foundation, your base is supposed to look really, really flawless and it's supposed to look amazing under like cameras and in photos and stuff. So let's try it out. For the white base, I'm going to take this Mara Makeup Clown White Paint. I usually use this for my creative looks, not my glam looks. So let's hope for the best. And I'm just going to start applying a layer of this. Oh my days. <laughs> This honestly feels so wrong. Like what in the cast with a friendly ghost is happening right now? Now that I am casket ready, uh, it is time to apply the foundation. So it was advised that you should use a foundation that is slightly darker than your skin tone. The foundation I'm gonna use is this ABH Luminous Foundation. This is my summer shade, so hopefully this works. And I guess we're just gonna apply it like normal. Okay, now let's get to blending. Okay, maybe this is a bit too dark, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I've said this so many times already, but this just feels so wrong. Okay, now for the five head. So this is what the foundation looks like when it's all blended together. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it would look a lot more cakey, but it actually doesn't, so very surprised. And this is a close up of what my skin looks like as well. So from now, I'm supposed to just do my regular makeup routine. So we're gonna do some full glam, I think. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury concealer under my eyes to highlight. I'm gonna slightly bronze with this ABH bronzer. For blush, I'm gonna use this one from Rare Beauty. It's in the shade Joy. Okay, this is what my skin looks like just before a powder. I'm gonna set my under eyes with the Jordana t-shirt powder. Okay, we're gonna do something really quick on the eyes. Really quick, I'm just gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury palette and I'm just gonna blend this shade into my crease. I think I'm gonna take this really light shimmer shade and just place this on my lid. Honestly, the quickest eye look I've ever done. Now just lining my lips with a lip liner from Makeup by Mario. And last but not least, lip gloss from Rare Beauty. Okay, and this is what my base looks like. And here's what it looks like up close. Honestly, I am very impressed. I thought it was gonna look really cakey. I thought it was gonna look a little bit off. But honestly, it looks really good. I feel like I could achieve this look without the white base. So I feel like that could just be an extra step where it's like, you don't really need to do it. Okay, and the very last test I have is to see what this actually looks like in natural lighting. Okay, I've just gone to my window and this is a super close up of my skin. And this is what it looks like. I'm very impressed that it doesn't look ashy and it actually doesn't look cakey. It just looks very smooth. So guys, you can leave your house and you'll look fine. <laughs>